I don't know about you, but I'm gonna trust the scientist when a scientist who works hard has no reason to lie to me, but then also is telling me that I could possibly do something, no matter how big or no matter how small, to make sure the earth doesn't die out. Like, why would I not listen? Why are we not listening? That's dumb. I hope everyone's comfortable on their chairs and their beds, eating their favorite snacks. So I'm about to get started. I'm going to be talking about climate change, fun stuff. So last week, really, there was something that I feel like was really interesting and I kind of wanted to touch on it because as much as I do love like unpopular opinions and stuff like that, I don't want commentary to just be bad takes. And even though this is a bad situation as in it shouldn't have happened. I still want to talk about the things that we should focus on about what happened, if that makes sense. Um, but yes, hopefully this sparks a conversation in the comment section and you guys share this and people are talking about this because the entire basis of this is the fact that people are not talking about this. So hopefully we can talk about it. So basically on April 16th, there was a protest um, and it was essentially known in, it was in LA. There was Peter Kalmus, who was a climate change scientist in NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory and some other scientists chained themselves to a JP Morgan Chase building in LA and they were protesting the um, the company or the corporation's uh, like exuberant use of like fossil fuels and just a bit of context um, if you don't know fossil fuels are basically natural fuels like coal and gas from like the earth and living organisms or like the remains of living organisms so it's like natural but too much of it is kind of bad for the environment. And so I just want to state from the pictures and stuff that I'm going to be showing you of what their protest was, it was essentially just them kind of saying, like mostly Peter Kalmus just expressing himself in a sort of like a monologue. And again, I also want to preface that these were not just random people that were just like, hey, I just want to um, save my environment. These were scientists, you know, this is their job. It's not like they were just uh, like scientists that were saying, see, I'm a scientist, I know this. This is something that they study. This is something they literally get paid to get the information for. So when they're the ones who are being a part of the protest to say, hey, this is the issue, I feel like we should listen. And so what's important about this is that one they chose the chase bank because it is known as the wor the worst fossil fuel bank in the world that's bad i'm gonna tell y'all why it's bad in a little box over here but um also these were scientists that study, that study weather and biodiversity and long story short at the end of this protest they were really they were arrested and they were sort of released um, later on that day or the next day. And then Peter Kalmus went to publish a, or into an interview for a, a Guardian article that I will be linking in the description. So I feel like, I feel like it should really be acknowledged the issues with this. Um, the way it was handled was trash in my opinion. Obviously like, like I, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of uh, the way police handle things for a multitude of reasons. But I feel like it was awful <laughs> the way it was handled, the fact that they were arrested in the first place, but the way they were arrested was kind of weird because it was like, these were people who were in like lab coats, not doing anything but screaming about the environment, valid points, but screaming about the environment. And they were arrested by police officers who were in full riot gear. What they think was gonna happen, riot gear, these are scientists. Like, I'm not trying to like say anything about scientists, but I'm like, 
no, but really, what were they gonna do? They're clearly here, to, like, they're clearly here for a reason is not anything violent. It's like, that, that was weird. It was kind of telling towards the way it's handled. You know, these are, these are authority figures funded by government services and they're trying to silence these people in intimidating out like in intimidating ways with their clothing and their appearance and then they silence them by arresting them <laughs> it's like that that's very telling to the exact thing that they're trying to explain that they are being silenced or that you guys are not listening so um that was interesting um Two, I feel like it's interesting and the issue is that it got to this point. So I'm here because scientists are not being listened to. I'm willing to take a risk for this gorgeous planet. And we've been trying to warn you guys for so many decades that we're heading towards a fucking catastrophe. And we've been being ignored. The scientists in the world have been being ignored. And it's gotta stop. We're gonna lose everything. And we're not joking. We're not lying. We're not exaggerating. This is so bad, everyone. Um, that we're willing to take this risk and more and more scientists and more and more people are going to start joining us. This is for all of the kids in the world, all the young people, all of the future people. This is so much bigger than any of us. It's time for all, all of us to stand up and take risks. Like, Peter Kalmus also stated in in, in the monologue, but then also in his article in all in his, on his website too, that he has two children and he's never really felt the need to do this. It's it's the way he said that like, I have children, I want to be home with them. I am a scientist too. If I really thought that, like if I was just being dramatic, then I would be like, yeah, I was just being dramatic. But for me to be so okay with being arrested live on camera in like in a way that my children are at the age where they could easily Google that. And then also like come back and do this article for the guardian like obviously i'm taking the risks and all of these other scientists are taking the risk to make sure that you guys understand that based on what we know and evidence that we have compiled using our literal jobs and our skill set and our degrees we have found there are issues why would we why would we just sit here and lie about the planet dying like, that makes no sense. That makes absolutely no sense. So clearly there's a point to this. It got to a point where people felt the need to say, it doesn't matter what happens to me. You guys need to hear about this. That's a problem. And the last thing is I was reading this article and they were, they, the name of their article is really interesting because it was, it's not political to tell the truth. And that's true because I've seen on the internet so many times people try to make like climate change issues, all these issues with fossil fuels and the in the environment uh, playing such a heavy factor in what's going to happen to our earth in a couple of years. And people try to make it a political thing. People try to say, oh, that political side doesn't like it. That political side is like it. But like, to be very honest, it's science. There's proof to this. It's there's there's evidence supporting this. It's like true based on evidence. This is there's no sense there should be no sense of politics attached to it. It's just a matter of what it is. So for people to try to make it poli like political, you're doing yourself a disservice because you and so aside from that when i talk about like it getting to this point i mean like yeah obviously from like the perspective of the scientists but then also from the perspectives of the environment and how we play a factor in it and how other people play a factor in it and how corporations and, and the bank and all that fun stuff was playing a part in why we are or where we are where we are is that there's like this huge thing that like 
even though we are told that like, oh, there are things that we can do about the environment and there are, we, we're choosing not to do it, but there are 100% things that we can do about the environment. Um, they're worth mentioning and it's worth mentioning that not all of this falls on consumers. It falls on like factories and corporations as well. And it is actually very evident. It's like you don't even have to look far enough like on the internet and all that fun stuff to see that it's like legitimate. Like it's evident that corporations play a crazy part in driving climate change um, in a negative way. And like they they barely there's no there's sometimes there's no transparency that government and individual actions do work sometimes but corporations don't really switch it up so i do recommend looking into how corporations and factories play a part in why we are where we are and even though we don't play a glaring big part as much as corporations and factories do we still play a part so it's up to us to get educated on this it's up to us to um read about it i know a lot of people like watch videos about it no i know a lot of people don't like to read find the time um but then also peter kalmus Recently, he also has a book out and it's called Be the Change, Live Well and Spark a Climate Revolution. And it is essentially about how him and his family switched their lives or changed their lives in a way that makes their carbon footprint and makes their sort of like makes a better makes a better uh, shift in the environment. They're, they live a healthy way for the environment. So um, I recommend getting the book. Um, I'm getting the book, I, it's, it's ordered, <laughs> I'm buying it. But um, yes, I, I highly recommend getting it. It's like $12 on Amazon, maybe 13. And look at the other things that Peter Kalmus has done. He is, I believe, a founder of the Climate Ad Project. Um, so, and Earth Hero, which is, I believe, like a store kind of for uh, like environmentally friendly items that help with like some shifts in the environment. So I recommend really looking into stuff like that and um, get educated. There's no reason why we shouldn't be educated. There's no reason why we should be a part of the group of people that are silencing what is happening to the environment. It's very clear that people and like factories and corporations have some sort of drive. While it's not equal, there is some sort of effect that we provide to the environment, obviously. You know how I know that there is? Because when some of us, some of our countries were forced to shut down, America cannot relate, but some countries were forced to shut down. You could literally see how the environment and how the climate benefit from it. You could see clear skies. You could see how animals that would usually hide would come out because they felt that the environment was better for them without us. There is clearly a reason why all of this happens and just we just forgot about it because you know that part of our lives are, is over, but we do 100% do something. So it's worth acknowledging because I don't know about you, but I'm going to trust the scientist when a scientist who works hard has no reason to lie to me, but then also is telling me that I could possibly do something no matter how big or no matter how small to make sure the earth doesn't die out. Like, why would I not listen? Why are we not listening? That's dumb. Also, if you want to donate or look into the group of scientists that were, um, protesting it's actually a part of a group that happens it's the scientist rebellion and essentially it's people or scientists all around the world that partake in protests like this around government buildings and around a protest like i think they did something in madrid a while ago i'll post the pictures and then also they go to the white house fence and they protest they protest in the uk at one of their business buildings I will post it here in this area, but again, look into it. There's no reason why you shouldn't. 
Um, so thank you for spending time here. I hope you learned something about the environment. I hope I helped you become a little bit educated about the environment period or about how like what happened with the protests. I said as much as I feel like I've heard of. I'm sorry if I haven't said enough, but you guys can take that time to explain my comment section what I haven't said, uh, maybe educate me more. Um, I release content every Saturday. Like the video, share it. Please get people acknowledging this. It is literally their entire point. Get people to listen. Um, Yes, write a comment, uh, go to my link tree and follow me on my other platforms. And I hope your day and night is amazing.